congratulations on the uh, very tight win. <laughs> it was a brilliant game. Um, so, Jen, you returned from injury tonight. You put up 17 points and 10 rebounds. Um, how encouraging is it for yourself to come back and put up those kind of numbers? Um, honestly, it's just fun to come back and play. I don't know, I was so looking forward to this game and I was just focusing on playing hard, so. And Coach, your thoughts on Jen's performance tonight? She's very modest because I thought she was fan absolutely fantastic and not just in the rebounds and, and, and scoring points. She, I don't know how many blocks she ended up with but certainly came across and changed a lot of shots and she was great help, so she was fantastic tonight. So, um, the Spirit are one of the few sides that can physically match it with the Flames. I've got Frank Ogilvy and Griffin and Gabe Richards. Um, do you think that led to the high number of three-point shots that the team took tonight? Oh, look, I think it depends on how they played us and, and you know, we got some open looks. I didn't think we forced that many three-pointers. So, you know, if we've got our feet set and the ball's gone inside, outside, I'm happy to take as many threes as another team's going to give us because we do, we, you know, we are blessed enough to have some great three-point shooters and I think it's, it's tough to guard us. I mean, you look at our scoreboard and we've got lots of double-figure figure players and it's really hard to guard teams like that. So, you know, that's, that's how we want to play. So the team uh, did end up with a few players in foul trouble tonight, plenty of players on four fouls heading into overtime. Um, how do you feel that affected the team's play? Oh, look, we had a bit of an issue <laughs> for a period there where every time we went near the ball we fouled. So I think the good thing was we made some adjustments and we slowed those fouls down and started using our feet. So it certainly had some impact in the game um, and we're lucky enough that it, it wasn't an impact in the overtime. We were, allowed, we were able to keep everyone on the, on the court. So um, the last play regulation didn't exactly go to play for the team. Um, can either of you explain just what happened on that last play? Oh look, I think we just got stuck on a screen and didn't switch out enough and a, and a quality player hit a three. So, you know, if you leave someone open, they're, they're probably going to knock it, you know, someone's quality as Griffin. So it was just a little hiccup and, you know, lucky enough that we got to go to overtime and fix it up. So, um, Lauren Nicholson came up big with a couple of baskets in overtime. She hit that first three and then sealed things at the end. Um, so she's had to sit out for a while through injury. How close do you think we are to seeing her at her best? Yeah, look, I think it's it's hard to sort of come in late where, where roles start to form a little bit and I think she's, you know, out on the training track and she trains really hard and she works really hard so I think you'll see more and more from her so I thought she was a fantastic contrib contribution off the bench and I thought also Sarah Graham only played little mi limited minutes but had a, a great impact, Carly Bogue, you know, so we had some, some people come off the bench that were really good for us tonight. So, Jim, it's obvious watching on court that you're developing combinations with uh, quite a few players out there. How important is it getting, keeping those combinations going? Um, I think it's important to our offense to keep everyone moving and moving together as much as we can. And so it's so fun to be able to click with teammates and find things that work. Right. Um, so, uh, well, congratulations on the win and good luck in your next game. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you.